you're dead wrong. You'll never have the skills like mine. I write the ill type rhymes. Now I'm reaching my prime. Exactly, Bingo. exactly. No, no, and one ball yeah, no. in the playoffs. No, yep. no, and, and we're going to talk about that a little later. Um, we, we mentioned earlier, you and I bunk out in the green room with the uh, LeBron James. Uh, we talked about Kobe, mm -hmm. even Jordan, mm -hmm. Magic, Bird. Mm -hmm. We go through all the stars. You need that Batman needs that Robin. Need that Robin. You know, and, and you yeah. can't win with one man. Yeah. You know what I mean? In no. NBA. Um, and uh, getting the, one, one last thing with the Cavs. And the younger you are, the younger the team is, the more of a more need there is for some structure to be there. Because you can't expect a team that where. Let me rephrase that. Whether the the best player on the team is a young person, mm -hmm. you need that structure there because that young person just isn't ready yet mm -hmm. to take that load on him or herself. Mm -hmm. And now that then you got a coach. A young mm -hmm. coach, he's, yep. he's going through the ropes. He's right. running just like exactly. LeBron on the fly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and then rolling right. Okay, mm -hmm. this is LeBron's seventh year. Right. You know? right. And when Jordan, in his seventh year, he, he won, won his first right. title. Uh -huh. Right. So we're comparing right. the two, and everybody wants to compare the two. Now, at this point in, in LeBron's career, where he's at, where would you grade LeBron um, as opposed to Jordan, the point of his career? Mm -hmm. At this point, it's the seventh year. Right. Now, now, take out the championships and, and all that. I would give LeBron a solid B. I give him a solid beat to where he would, you know, to where he's at right now because, like, you, like we were talking about in the green room, when Jordan came in, he, he came in from North Carolina, from Dean Smith, exactly. so he was a little bit more seasoned, exactly. you know, than Bron was coming straight out of the high school, you right. know. So, give, give that, give that check to Mike, you know. So right. you can't take nothing away from what LeBron did up until this point, you know, the the, the MVPs and the, the the defensive, you know, runner ups and that sort of thing. So you can't take nothing away, but. In this era, I mean, Jordan was just a little bit more polished than Bron is. So, like I said, give me, give me a, a solid beat mm -hmm. on, on what Bron is at right now. So. And just to piggyback off that, I mean, you know, LeBron's 25. When Jordan won his first title, he was 28. Mm -hmm. He's three years older. Yeah. And obviously, playing under Dean Smith, you know, you, see, we talked about Mike, Mike Brown and the fact that LeBron is not learning anything right. from Mike Brown. Right. You know, Brown, Mike Brown doesn't have the knowledge to teach him. Exactly, exactly. exactly. And but you know what that really difference. comes down oh, yeah. to, Dante? That comes down to the Cavs not having the guts to hire a person who's going to tell LeBron, Stand no. Up to him. There you He's go. going to say, no, LeBron, you're not doing it that way. You're doing it my way. And be, the, since the Cavs, they're scared of that because LeBron will say, I don't like this coach. I'm leaving. And so that brings in, again, the immaturity and be wanting to really be coached. Does LeBron, is winning more important to him or is it just doing enough to get by on the court but spending way too much time on things off the court? Mm -hmm. Now LeBron is so high up on the pedestal right now. Mm -hmm. Do you think that he would come down to listen to a Larry Brown or a seasoned veteran coach like that? That's the, that will be the 200 or 300 million dollar question at the end of the day. We don't know. I thought, but that's so yeah. true because I mean, yeah. it's like Absolutely. they anointed this guy king. Right. And last yeah. I checked, at in order 25. to be a king, you got to have some yeah. rings. Yeah. Right. Right. So right now he's the prince. And yo, right. Just like you said, you man, know? the whole last season, non-stop puppet commercials with right. him and Coach. Yeah. You know what I right. mean? Yeah. It was, it was non-stop. Like I said, I liked it. I yeah. thought it was the best was, thing yeah, ever. Yeah, you know what I mean? Great. But I agree. Absolutely. Now, before we go to break, you know, Believe it or not, man. Yeah. You know, um, well, first of all, we, we got some tickets. You know, every week, well, when there's time for guys to go on vacation, mm -hmm. right. well, you know, we, we very generous, very generous. Mm -hmm. You know, last week we had a lot of international flights. Yeah. This year we're going to yeah. keep it domestic. Okay. And we have... Uh, well, that, I mean, that's that's thanks to uh, Outlaw of United States Barbershop, our sponsor, donating, exactly. you know, all that money for these Absolutely. international wow. flights. Wow. So, and, for the for yeah. and for the oh, fresh cuts, too. And for the fresh cuts. Definitely keep you know? fresh. And <laughs> <the> fresh <cuts. laughs> Twice a week. My, my man Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we figured Shaq, you know, yeah. those guys, they need some art. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so why not send them out on tour Absolutely. as Kiss? Now, where they going to be? Where they rocking at? Where they going to be Well, actually, they're going to start out in Cleveland. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right mm -hmm. at the queue. Okay, right you know, the they got they got some Madison Square Garden dates and nice. some Staples Center dates. Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah, so they they're gonna be all over the all over the country. So make sure you check out issuesradio.com right. and see yeah. where they're at. Absolutely. Yeah. But again, we've been on the air for one 
year. A year? A year. Man, man. Time is really full. I'm telling you. A year. Man. A year. Congratulations. So, uh, <laughs> one year. The man. beautiful folks here at the Avalon Foundation thought that, you know, it'd be great to uh, celebrate that year. Okay, great. Thanks right. wow. to the Avalon Foundation. That's what's up. Absolutely. That's what's up. TV 15. Hey, um, East Eastern Council fund the Avalon um, Theater, man. Oh, stop, yeah. No stop question. Playing. No question. Yeah. No playing. question. Oh, we got Tate. Oh, Hey, look who grabbed the cake. <laughs> Yo, give him my hat, man. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, uh, hey, you old baby. One year old, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 Thank hey. you to all the fans watching us, man. But without y'all, we couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't, couldn't do it. Without you, guys. Yeah. You know, we definitely yes. appreciate it. Thank you to the Avalon. Avalon, absolutely. Taking a chance on us. And, absolutely, you know, man. We came absolutely. through for them. Definitely. Through for them. Definitely. 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 So we're going to go to a break. We're about to cut this cake absolutely. up. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We're getting in this cake. Oh, yeah. See that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's blow this thing. There it is. We'll be right back. Ground Boy Rap. Yo, Duke, you're dead wrong. You'll never have the skills like mine. I write the ill type rhymes. Now I'm reaching my prime. 360 dunk in your face. You can't compete. You're just a basket case. Let's separate the.